Hello everyone and namaste. I'm Aishi Deshmukh and today I'll be sharing some cool text animations with you. There are so many cool text transitions which you can create in Adobe Premiere Pro. You must have heard about Tom Ghost, right? Yes, his actions are so epic as his movie intros. I'll be taking you back to the past in 1996 where the first Mission Impossible got created. Today, we are going to create some cool text animations from his movie Mission Impossible 1996. So let's get started. This movie effect is super easy and looks so epic. First, we are going to create a text layer. You can choose the option T from here. I'm using an older version of Premiere Pro. That's why I can get that fact sheet. So just press Ctrl T or Command T. Create a text layer. Just bring it up to the center. There's a blue kind of tint on the edges of this text. So we are going to use this inner strokes option. We'll be using the blue color. You can choose the font of your choice. This looks close to me. That's why I'm choosing this one. Just drag and drop the text layer here. By selecting it, you can get the effects option. We'll be decreasing the opacity. Decrease the opacity to 70. We're going to scale it up because the text is huge on the intro. We'll be keeping the text in the center. By scaling the text from up here, you can get pixelate kind of effect. We'll be adding a key to position. We'll be starting it from the letter A as showing in the intro. To get the moving kind of effect, we'll be animating the position. On the last frame, we'll be taking it all to the left. Till here, I guess, and multiply. So just play it. We'll be adding another key at the end. I think this much should be okay. Now we'll be creating another text layer. We'll be creating the main title here. Bringing it to the same layer timeline. There is a zoom out effect. So we are going to add the animation in the scale option. Set up a key here. We'll be taking it from around 70. If you want, you can use the motion blur option in this BG text. So we can give the directional blur. We are going to add a key here. That will be only visible while it's no beat. You can increase the blur length while we don't look. We'll be just keeping it at 2. I feel like I should increase a bit of opacity. And the intro text is completed. Now coming back to the present, we are going to make the text animation from the movie The Fall Guy. So just take the background. The dragon brought this image from here. There was a scratched black kind of a background in the movie, but I got another image from the pixels.com. So I'll be using that for him. You guys also can download the image. I'll be adding the link in the description. Decrease the length. The image also has an animation of the brightness. So we are going to add the brightness and contrast effect from here. I'll be adding a brightness key here. The venue is just fine, so we need to decrease it from the start. So I'll be decreasing it till around minus 30. Yeah, that looks fine. If you want, you can decrease it even more. I think this looks cool. Minus 50 is okay for me. So now we are going to add the bar. I just created this bar image in Photoshop and saved it as a PNG file. We'll be adding a key on this bar at the same place where we have added the key of the background to add the position of this gradient bar. Just insert a key here as this placement is just perfect. We'll be bringing it to the left. Yeah, I think that looks fine. Now we have to create a text layer. I'll be using this text because it suits well. Just bring it to the center. Make it bold condensed. I think this much of the size will be okay. In this text, there is a texture. So we are going to add the texture on this. We'll be using the same texture, whatever you have used in the background. We'll just hit OK. We can increase the scale from here as well. The height of the text is too much, but the width is less. So we can just scale it further. We have to increase the height, but not the width of the text. So just increase the height of the text. 
there's a bit of rotation in this going on. Yeah, that looks strong. You know, yeah. and this much is okay. Increase the height even more. There's an option of sand. We can use that to tilt this text. Yeah, this much is fine. We can change the position again. Yeah, this looks good. Okay, and now we are done. I feel like we can make this text more bright. I'm just using the brightness effect on this one. Yeah, and this looks cool. Or we can change the scaling option from the texture option. Yeah, I feel like the extended character option is good for this. And this horizontal and vertical scaling you can use. Whatever feels good for you. So we have animated the gradient bar. Now we gotta animate the texture. So we can just copy the position animation from this gradient bar. Control C. Selecting the text layer which we want to animate. Control V. And it's done. Now we need the word though. So we are just making a copy and then just give it the position. Remember? The text size is smaller than for that. So we gotta keep that in mind. So just scale down the text. Then give the position to it. It looks like there's a huge distance between these letters. Yeah, this much looks fine. There's a motion blur kind of effect in this gradient bar and text as well. So we're gonna add the blur effect. I'll be using this fast blur. We'll be adding a key where the more animation stops. I just made a horizontal kind of a blur. I'll take the blurriness to 25. And this keyframe from the start. I'm gonna add it here. Giving the position zero. Go to till here. Okay, yeah. Feel like I should increase a bit of more bloodiness. Okay, not that. So we'll be pasting the same effect on this text also. We have just created this app with you and was so easy. Now we'll be moving towards our third and the last epic movie effect. It's from a Bollywood movie named Anput. It's cinematic and kind of a horror. You can use this kind of text transitions in any of your horror project. So, let's get to the effect. So let's see how to create this. It's cinematic and giving a ghost kind of effect. We'll be adding a black video to this. We'll be taking an image to create the smoke effect. I've just created this from the clouds, but if you have an image or video of smoke, so you can just take that one. We'll be adding the text to the letter which are in between, having the different kind of animation. So we'll be just taking these three letters up here. The text having some texture, so we'll be using dissolve for it. This much of dissolve looks good to me. You can add the feather if you want. And if you don't want, just leave it as it is. I'll be giving it a feather of three. You can play with whatever values you want. Yeah, 70 looks fine for me. I'll be just adding a key to the transition because this just came off from very less visibility. Now we'll be animating the opacity option. Just add a keyframe here and add the star, change the position. I guess 10 is fine. Now we'll be adding the animation and position. There's not much, but yeah, a bit of animation in the position. Yeah, I guess this much is fine. Or you can decrease it even more. A bit of touch, it's just fine. Okay, now we'll be using yeah, the turbulence effect. We'll be adding a key to mount. And here the amount will be zero. Now we can decrease the amount as well. Yeah, I guess this much is fine. Now we have to add a mask as well. The letter A comes first and then the T rings at the end. So we'll be adding the mask in the opacity. We're gonna create a mask. Okay, so we're gonna add a key here to the end. Yeah, now we're gonna animate the mask. I'm just maintaining the shape of the mask. Now we are gonna copy and paste this snare. Okay. Now there's the letter D right here. We can give the position of the letter here. Yeah, this looks just fine. Okay. Now the text is a little bit down, so I'm gonna give the position. Yeah, this one's just fine. We can do this for the both letters as well. And the position of up and down. 
Now we are going to animate the mouse. The brightness of the BG is increasing, so we are going to add the brightness also. The opening displays to make the cloud movements as smoke and a bit of camera blur. Now the scary movie effect is done. If you like this video or you have any tutorial suggestions, please tell me in the comment section. We'll see you in the next video with some more tutorials and photo ideas. Till then, take care and bye.